Welcome back to my YouTube channel for today's video. I wanted to show you guys how I've set up my backyard for um, a Ramadan dinner that I'm having for my friends tonight. And I also kind of wanted to show you guys how I decorate my home during the month of Ramadan. So I guess it's kind of going to be like a vlog um, and kind of just showing you guys what I've been up to this entire month of fasting, which is Ramadan. For those who don't know, Ramadan is a month where Muslims fast from Sunday sunrise to sundown it's a really holy month for us and it allows us to become more patient more kind more giving more compassionate so um, this is an amazing time of the year for me I absolutely love uh, this month and yeah I wanted to kind of show you guys how I've been spending my month how to do this amazing and super easy Arabian setup kind of theme I've set it up in my backyard and it's super easy and it's super fun it's like it feels like it's something that I just took off Pinterest so yeah if you guys are interested in seeing um, how I decorate my home for Ramadan and how I've managed to set up this um, beautiful decor outside then just please keep watching all right so this whole table right here is a huge mess but it's filled with all of my Ramadan decorations that I'm gonna use to decorate my house I still got this whole box of lanterns right here so um, quickly all of these black lanterns are from the dollar store look how beautiful these little lanterns are and these are literally from the dollar store I got them for two dollars they're super inexpensive and they really make such a difference when you decorate during Ramadan, I also love to decorate my backyard. So I got these umbrella lights that I can just attach underneath my umbrella in my patio. And then I got these big, um, I got these big string lights that I'm just going to use to attach um, throughout my backyard. And I got this huge lantern from Jisk. Um, I think it was on sale for 40 bucks. And I got this, I had this lantern since I was in prom. So I, I want to say like five years ago. So I love it and I always use it for Ramadan. I have this beautiful centerpiece that I got from a store in Mississauga called Shop Moda. I have a Ramadan banner. I have a light up. I have these lanterns that are also from Jisk that I'm going to put in my backyard as well. And then we got these lantern lights, which are super cute. I got to I gotta do the batteries up. And then we got these window lights. So these are crescents with stars. And we got a Kaaba. We got these decorative plates that are really Ramadan, super festive for Ramadan for serving. We got another banner that I'm going to put up. And we got some more lights. I'm also really excited about this because it's a countdown to Eid. So every day you just attach a star, which I think is super cute. So yeah, let's see what I could do with all of this decor.
are on day three, so. Are you excited for Ramadan? Are you excited for Eid? Are you excited to eat? Are you excited? 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 lot more decor left but I'm like so tired and there's about half an hour left until we can break our fast so I'm gonna sign off for today and I will jump back on and finish all of this decor and I will also um, show you guys some fun foods that I love to make during Ramadan and whenever we have people over I want to show you guys kind of what we serve and um, what we do to kind of keep our guests entertained and just the whole overall Ramadan vibe. I feel like this is gonna be more of a vlog than just like a decor video but let me know if you guys like these types of long vlogs I'm just gonna start baking some of our pastries they're called sambusas I'm gonna show you guys a clip of them later on on how we make them but I'm gonna start setting the table and I'm gonna sign off to eat so I'll see you guys in the next clip <laughs> okay guys so one of the things that I love to do during Ramadan is to make sambusas so sambusas is basically dough that's wrapped up and then we just fill them with cheese and parsley so we roll them up they're like in little balls like this we roll them up we fill them and then you could either fry them or bake them and they are so good Okay guys, so before I sign off, these were the sambusas that I showed you guys how we rolled them and we filled them up with cheese and parsley. So um, usually we fry them, but this year I'm really trying to be healthy, so I don't want to fry any of my sambusas. If you don't want to fry your sambusas, you could just bake them. So I have the oven on to 350, so it's just preheating right now. I'm going to put these in the oven for about 20 minutes, and then I'm going to flip them over. They're going to be perfect. <music> Okay, so basically what I did was I actually had to build this out of wood so I just got one big um, cedar wood and we cut it in half and then we just drilled these legs onto them because I wanted it to be super low and then we just added um, and then I just added a bunch of different like mats or rugs or blankets you could add whatever you'd like and then to top it all off with some color i just added some of these super fun um pillows i got a red one and then i got a white fluffy one for the center pieces i got these really cute um small mini lanterns so i added some flowers as the centerpiece of the table and i literally just got them from my tree how cute are these sugar cookies that I got from Kitty Cat Confectionery. They're handmade sugar cookies and they are so nice. 
and so cute and then I just hung up some of these dollar store lanterns. They have some lights inside, so it's gonna look really cute. I just added a flower just because I thought it was a little bit plain. So I hung these on my trees with some of these lanterns. I think it's super cute and it's gonna make such a difference at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I wanted that way. 